All right, guys. Um, I am currently on the road today. Uh, just gonna do a short little video here, and I'll do another one later. Uh, two updates this week. Um, actually, well, technically three, I guess. Um, Monday, or actually Saturday of this weekend, I was uh, lucky enough to get a new phone. So, um, as of Monday, when it got activated, we have a way better camera, so that's one bonus. Um, also, what happened on Monday, uh, while I was at work, um, I walked outside to my pickup like I usually do after I'm done so I can leave for the day, and um, I walked out and I could tell I had a flat tire. So I walked over to the passenger side where the tire was, and uh, oh, I realized that somebody hit my pickup and didn't leave a note or anything like that. Um, all I could do was run inside, tell my manager. Uh, we looked at the video surveillance cameras. All they're showing is that a semi pulled through, didn't swing wide enough. His trailer was scraping against my fender and his the back of the trailer basically clipped my front end, drug me, drug the pickup two to three feet, and then um, then it stopped, almost hit the car beside me. And um, basically my pickup is pretty much totaled. And because I have liability on that one, um, my insurance will not do a thing about it. And we can't, I won't be able to get anything until I actually get the guy who got it. That's when I'll get, you know, parts replaced or totaled out or whatever. But I am 90% sure the pickup would be totaled if it were to be the guy that was ever found so as far as the 99 goes it's pretty much totaled and I think I'm actually going to be taking it down to the farm and letting it sit there for a little while and part it out eventually or something but on another note you guys may tell I might be in a different vehicle uh, you guys should be able to tell if uh, you've seen videos of me and my 99. Um, I actually, a couple weeks before this happened to my 99, I was looking into a new pickup. You know, I kind of wanted one. Um, was tr trying to get one here soon. And uh, it was actually the next day I was supposed to go to the bank and get my loan, which was the day after the um, pickup got wrecked, um, which was yesterday. Um, so, we went to the bank, we got the loan, um, basically right now, you guys can't see anything really, um, I'm driving a 2002 1500HD right now. Uh, this pickup has 124,000 miles, uh, 124 and a half by the time I get home. Um, it was on the higher side than what I wanted to pay, um, but because of the, t it's, I'm the third owner, so... Because of the two owners that had it, it took really good care of it, and it's in wonderful shape. There's a couple rock chips here and there, because the guy lived on a gravel road, and I mean, it happens, I understand it. Um, I'll be taking care of those in the future here, and, you know, basically other than that, there's not a thing wrong with this pickup. The guy took care of it really well. The first owner pulled his camper every once in a while with it, uh, second owner only pulled it pulled it four to five times um so he didn't do much that was a that was a really big plus to that that i know this pickup hasn't been towed a lot um and as far as uh gearing it does have 410 gears um i've heard good and bad about 410 gears some say that they um make your gas go faster you know use more gas but uh i've also heard that 410 gears you know you get the same gas mileage it, it, and that all depends on who's driving and whatnot but as far as it goes I haven't noticed yet I mean 
I've only driven 60 miles on it right now, and I filled it when I got, pretty much when I, minute I got in it, so, it, we're still at full, so, as far as that goes, I can't vouch for the good or bad, um, that was kind of one thing that wasn't really too fond of when I got the pickup, but it's something that it's kind of, you either take it or leave it. And, um, I really think the 410s will help. I mean, if I ever need to do anything with this, I mean, I have the ability to, so. Uh, the truck came with a few accessories. It came with a heavy-duty grill guard. Uh, the guy paid seven, eight hundred bucks for. Um, I don't know if I'll be leaving it on. Um, I might end up taking it off. But as the time goes right now, it's going to be on, and um, it's got running boards, uh, B&W turnover hitch, uh, so it's set up to pull, trailer brakes, you know, that kind of thing. So as far as pulling wise, I'll pretty much be able to do anything I want with it now, and um, for anything else, I mean, this pickup's going to last a long time, you know. He lived on a gravel road, but this truck there's no rust I mean it's one beautiful truck and the only other downfall to it is that it's a white pickup and after I owned my 97 and how bad it rusted out and the clear coat chipped I told myself I would never own a white vehicle again and I'm going against that but I think for this one I, it, the white just goes with it. I've looked at other ones and the colors, you know, tan, black. I, if I could have found a, if I could have found a black one, I definitely would have took it. Um, but it just wasn't feasible at the time. So I mean, I didn't have much choice. And for a deal like this one, it's, you know, I couldn't pass it up. Such low mileage on an O2 with, you know, mint condition really. Um, so, I mean, that's one thing I, that really pleases me is I know it's a good pickup. Um, you know, it's got fairly good tires. The front ones look a lot better than the back, but I mean, as far as that goes, I'll, you know, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll get tires down the road here. It'll make this winter. Um, basically my plans for this one, I really don't know. Uh, I'd like to keep it the way it is for a couple, for a while. I mean, it's not going to do much. Um, it will be getting my tow mirrors off my 99. And um, I plan on getting the bed, bed line by Linex. Um, that and the rockers and I think about two inches up the door is what I'm going to do. Uh, nothing too high, nothing too noticeable. You'll, I mean, you'll notice it, just not very much. You know, you'll, you'll just see a little bit of black down there, um, as far as that goes. And um, bedline said that color match the gr the front grill. Um, I will be getting window visors that'll be color matching as well. Um, fender flares on it it's the factory style fender flares i'm not going to color match those those are staying the black uh as far as the rims go i got a guy interested in my stock rims i could go with an aftermarket set of 17s um with a 285 probably is what i'm gonna go with but uh to do that i'm looking at like two grand in wheels and tires and um, I would need a leveling kit to fit the 285s on 17s. So it's something that's been in the back of my mind. Um, the leveling kits, I know they're not too bad on prices. Too, they're not hard to install either. So I mean, as far as all that goes, it could be an option. It could be an option for me. Um, I'm not gonna do a body lift. I know that for sure. Um, I've done them done one I guess I should say and I didn't really like how it turned out you know the bumper was messed up 
back bumper had a gap. I mean, it wasn't a bad gap, but it just, it was noticeable. And, you know, it's just, it's hard to say. Um, in some situations, they've got their pluses, but, um, yeah. So, I, I honestly, right now, I know it's going to be getting the bed lined, um, undercoated, um, color matched a few things, probably grill taken off, towing mirrors. That's all it's getting right now. Um, I'm going to focus on paying most of it off first, and then I'll kind of ease my way into doing a couple things, but I'm not going to go too crazy. And, um, you know, it's just, all together it's a nice pickup, and I'm just going to treat it how it should be treated, and make sure it stays running good and long, and is that a pheasant fly out in front of me? Um, God, these pheasants over here are nuts. But, as far as any of that goes, you know, um, so, for now, I'm gonna have to think of a new name for the channel. I'm uh, Probably not for the channel, but I know for my Instagram I will. Um, follow me at... 99 lifted Chevy right now, LFTD, C-H-E-V-Y, um, as of right now, but until then, I mean, I gotta think of a new name, whatnot, so, um, I will put, I'll have a picture of it as a thumbnail, try to at least, and, um, and if not, I'll have a video of a review and walkthrough later on this week, hopefully, no promises, but, I'll try to get something up and um, go from there. Um, that's about it for me, guys. I uh, just wanted to guy, give you guys the update, what's been happening this week. <laughs> this beginning of the week was horrible. Um, and even pheasant hunting this weekend didn't even go very well. Um, didn't even get a single bird. Seen a couple, not too many, but didn't get any, so gonna try again next weekend and uh we got our sunflowers off so hopefully it'll be good but uh this video's getting pretty long for just me talking so if you guys watch till the end i appreciate it um i'd like if you guys like it just give me a comment or like and comment whatever subscribe if you guys like what you see and want more but um until then guys i'll see you in the next one